Hello YouTube! Time for an update video again. Uh, people say, I like your in intro. I've had messages. Hello YouTube! So what's special about that one? Hello YouTube! Anyway, uh, so uh, an update on the, the new aquarium. Today we're going to get filled with water. This is Wolfie, my uh, 20 inch dovi. And this is Mrs. Wolfie. God, she's huge. She, she's like a... God, I don't know what she is. She's, she's big anyway. She's as big as uh, some people's males. Anyway, it's Valentine's. And uh, I think these two are getting on it. Maybe I should be getting on it. <laughs> anyway, well, I, I ain't got time for that at the minute. Let's, let's, let's video me filling this tank up. We'll video me filling the... Uh, look at his knuckle lump. Let's video filling the tank up and introducing the uh, fish. So let's get on it. Right, I've just got that filled up nice and quickly, put a, a few rocks in it and some plants, like, but it's very mur murky, so I'm going to let that run overnight. Anyway, I'll just switch the light off behind me. Yeah, I'm going to let that run overnight, let it settle down, and then I'm going to uh, change some of the filter media for mature filter media at one of my tanks, and I'll show you that. And this substrate, I'm going to swap it over with some substrate, what I've got in my Haitiensis tank, and also my uh, flower on tank, which I'll show you. Anyway, when it settles down, we'll have a proper look. There's some caves here and that. We'll have a proper look when it settles. Yeah, so this is obviously this is uh, Stroppy. So look, if you notice, uh, Stroppy's substrate is the same black and white gravel, so that'll have lots of bacteria. And that on it, so we'll uh, we'll have a few scoops of that, and some some out of the Haitiensis tank as well. All right, strops. Yeah, so the Haitiensis tank, it's got the same substrate. I like this uh, black and white substrate. Anyway, we'll talk about it more. I'll talk about it more tomorrow. I mean, this like I said, this is going to be loaded with uh, beneficial bacteria. We'll talk about it more tomorrow when that tank's had a chance to settle, and we'll. Uh, Get it all cycled up super quick and get the fish in. Anyway, I'll, I'll be back to, in, to uh, add to this tomorrow. Right, the tank's been running overnight now, so it's been going, I, I think it's been going 24 hours and it's uh, looking a lot better. It's clearing nicely. There's the caves. You can see, see the caves there. There's a cave there. Another cave, another cave in there. No doubt... The fish will dig the substrate and make his own caves. And the uh, plants, or shall I say, artificial plastic plants. So what I need to do now is uh, change a jug. I'm going to change a jug full of the substrate for the mature uh, substrate with beneficial bacteria on it and change some of the filter media from out of uh, another tank which I've got. So let's get on it. Right, we're going to pinch some of, some of Stroppy's substrate. Are you all right with that, Stroppy, mate? Can we have some of your substrate? We know how much uh, food you get through and how you like your food and uh, how many poops you do. But this this uh, tank must have a quite a high bio load. So uh, this will be good stuff, this will. We'll have some of your substrate, mate. We'll pay you back with some more. Now we'll we'll uh, get it. Let's get this. Let's get some out. Well, let's get the lid off. You know, something's going on. It's not food. It's not food. Oh, stroppy, mate. And don't you bite, mate. Let's get some of this out. All right, strop. 
Not good with him. He's, he's, he's getting a big old chunk. Look at the size. Look at the size of my hand. Can you see? I don't know if they had that showing up on the film. I've got my hand stretched fully. He's, he's not biting me anyway. Let's get scoop some of this up. I bet he's thinking. He's thinking. What's going on here? What's going on here? Another scoop, probably a couple of these. There's, a, there's actually more black in this one, actually. He's behaving himself. There'll be loads of, uh, loads of beneficial bacteria in here. Right, here we go. That's uh, uh, two scoops. Should I do another one? Yeah. Yeah. This has got this is a lot blacker. I can always add white in it. I've got buckets and buckets and buckets of substrate in the uh, in my garage. I've got blacks and whites and natural. Anyway, let's let's walk across now. Just just stick that on pause. Right, let's get this let's get this lid off. Put the lid just put the lid down for a sec. Just move the light fitment. Out of the way, and we'll we'll uh, put this uh, substrate in. We've all we've all stroppish poo on it, eh? <laughs> oh, there's more black. In, there's more black in this one. That that will mix in nicely. Loads of it. Probably probably it's a little bit too deep actually, but uh, I can always take some out. But that's got lots of that's got lo loads of lovely lovely bacteria. All the good stuff. Well, that's coming on, isn't it? Now we uh, we need to uh, uh, change some of the sponges in the filter. Just stick it on pause again, love. Right, I've got some replacement for stroppy. Uh, he ain't got a lot of substrate in there, but like, like everybody knows, uh, having little less substrate is mostly better. It's easier to keep clean. Right, let's get back to let's get back to the new tank. And uh, change the sponges. We'll get get the filter, get some of the filter media out, out of this one now. So I've already got I've got two tanks with this sort of filter. So it's got two baskets like this, but we're only taking one basket out. We'll take this one out. Look, it's all brand spanking new. We'll put that we'll put that in here. And then we'll go over to the other other tank and get the other one out. Yeah, so this is my Trimat tank. That's uh, Churchill, but he's hiding at the moment. That's Churchill. Oh, yes. Can we have some of your filter media, mate? We've got a new tank. We need some of your filter media. What's well, got all the beneficial bacteria in it? Can we have some, mate? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he says. So this tank... This is uh, not a. It's the same Jules tank, but the same sort size uh, filter in it. Obviously, it's not the bow front corner tank, but it still has the same size uh, filter in it. So we'll have some of that out there. Because uh, old uh, Churchill's give us permission, aren't you, mate? Oh yes, he said. Oh yes. <laughs> right here we go. Let's get some out. So like, I've got puff, puff off, puff off, grab. Uh, growing in this one, so let's squeeze this one out. This was gonna. This has uh, been in here for. Well, this tank's been running years. I clean them out per periodically. So here we go. Lot that one's got the ceramic chippings and that in. So what I'm gonna do is swap it over with this brand with a brand new one. I'll I'll leave this uh, fine fine. Uh, what do you, I don't know what you call it, what do you call that fine matting stuff? I'll leave it on temp for the time being, but I don't normally use that. Waste, waste of time. In my opinion, it's a waste of time. It, it just, well, it ain't a waste of time. It does clean your water, but I've got that many tanks. If I use that in every tank, I'll be cleaning them, cleaning them out every day. So I uh, avoid that. So we'll uh, replace that with that. There we go. Look, that's got a... Uh, He's got new media. 
Bearing in mind, like I say, there's two blocks like that in there. So he's got one's new and the other one's second hand. So we'll get this one. This one, I won't bother cleaning it. This one with all the uh, beneficial bacteria and that on it, that's going in there. So uh, uh, just stick it on pause, love. Right, I'm going to take, while I'm at it, I'm going to take the other one out. Let's get this one out. That's right down the bottom. Because I need to sort these in what sort of order I want them. Right, I'll put that one in the bowl and all, and then we'll go and we'll have a talk about this and we'll sort this out. Right, so we've got all the, the media out of the filter. So this one is a old media, what's probably, well, it's probably, I don't know, five, six, ten, I don't know, years old, and that's all brand new stuff. The manufacturer suggests you do it like this with the fine at the top going down to cores. And other, everybody has their own opinions on this. Uh, other people do it other way on and whatever. But basically, as long, as long as you're pumping water through uh, through the sponge, it's gonna do it's gonna do its job. But what I like to do, I like to do it similar to the manufacturer. I don't, I will not use the uh, the filter wool because. Like I said, I'm running 25 aquariums. If I have to keep going around checking filter wool, I, I'm making a rod from my own back. So what, I, what I'm going to do is, like, a lot, I still like to put the fine foam at the top. And the, uh, look, look at this foam. The open cell foam at the bottom, that'll go at the bottom, the ceramic chippings. I, I like to do it that way, at the bottom. And then, and then when I do maintenance, I just clean one, one of these out, the top one. With all the finer foam. I, I clean the top one. The bottom one. I probably only clean it once a year. Because it never gets dirty. So uh, I'll just swap these around. And then I better get them in. Right I've, I've rearranged them. So as you can see. This foam here has got massive massive holes in it. But I call it open cell foam. And then there you've got your ceramic chippings and then there's another one with massive massive holes so that's going at the bottom the way I do it and then these are like that's medium then it gets finer and finer as we go up and uh, people might think well that's a carbon one but it isn't because that's a, a homemade one I've got black I've got big sheets of black sponge and I've chopped that one so that's what that's the way I do it so like this one's going at the bottom for, with all the uh, beneficial bacteria in it and this one will take regular cleaning, but it's still going to have beneficial bacteria in it. You cannot be the good old-fashioned sponge fill, air-driven sponge filters, what a lot of people run the fish rooms on. People read too much into all this filtration, in my opinion. Uh, like you say, as long as you pump the water through it, and you've got your bacteria, the bacteria will grow and the bacteria will do its job. So, uh what we've got here is the heater. I'm not using the heater because I'm, uh, I'm having the bean eye in it and the bean eye likes cooler water. My house is quite warm. This is a power head. E look, dual EcoFlow 1500. Now I've upgraded one or two of my uh, larger dual tanks with this 1500 tank. What some of the people are not aware of. Anyway, I'll just have a look. I'll show you one. Yeah, what I was saying, uh, a lot of people would not be aware of, this is the larger dual tank what they do, 450 litres, and when you buy one of these, it has a 1,000 litre, a 1,000 litre power head, but the 1,500 one is like a, an extra. Some of, some of the dealers don't even know that. When you buy this tank from brand new, it'll come with a 1,000 a thousand litre pump. So I mean, I went to my local fish store. And I said to them, "I want the fifteen hundred litre pump," and they said, "Well, the biggest one we've got on the shelf's a thousand litre. They don't do a fifteen hundred litre." I said, "They do, mate. You want to uh, do your research to do a fifteen hundred. So if you want to upgrade the, you upgrade it. This is it. That's the jumbo uh, dual filter. 
You get a 1500 litre pump on that. Anyway, these are the red dove eyes. We're not supposed to be looking at you two. Them two are pairing up, I reckon. We're not looking at you today. We're uh, looking at the new tank and we're going to be looking at the bean, are we? So let, let's get this, this filter major in. Let's get the fish caught and get it, get it in the tank. So here we go. Down at the bottom, the, uh, the uh, foam, the very coarse foam and the chippings, that's going down the bottom because the water comes in at the top. That's going down the bottom. Get in there, boy. That's not quite down yet. Let me get up on my ladder. And then, here comes the, uh, this is the more the finer stuff. So this is the one when I do my water changes. This is, this is the one I'll clean out periodically. And that one I've just put in at the bottom that hardly ever needs cleaning out. So that one goes in there, and that's got a lot of uh, that's got all the beneficial uh, bacteria from Big Mac, hasn't it? He let he let us borrow some of his bacteria. Oh yes, mate, you can have some of more bacteria, mate. Yeah, get in there, mate. Anyway, uh, I tell you, I tell you what, I think we're nearly ready. Let's have a look. At, let's have a look down there. I'm going to put the lid. I think we're nearly ready to get the fish. What do you reckon? Oh, I'm all excited now. Let's get the fish in there, eh? So this is a little guy I plan on to put into the new new tank. He's he's been neglected. He's he's on the bottom row of my uh, fish room, so he doesn't get no uh, you know his, uh, time spent with him, like being interact with him. But he's he's brave. I'll I'll put me, waggle my finger in the top lot. So he's trying, he's trying to bite my finger. I'll give him a pellet. So he's really brave here. But what, what's going to happen? He's going to go up into the house and I'm going to give him extra special treatment because he's going to be one of my favourite fish. But you can bet your bottom dollar will not see... I bet I'll put him in that tank. I bet I'll not hardly see him for a, a couple of weeks. So that's, that's the... Uh, price you pay uh, moving the when you move these uh, fish I mean, the bigger they are the harder they move but he's, he's still fairly young so he should move nicely but I ain't got a name for him let's have a see if I can get a better shot of him he won't come out this corner but he thinks he's going to get some uh, more pellet well he won't come out this corner and I decided I better not give him no more pellet he's looking on the floor like on the substrate. I better not give him no more pellets because uh, like it's going to go through a stressful time being moved. No fish likes being moved. So we'll we'll catch him. I don't really need to aquamate him. Most of my water around all my aquariums are uh, nearly identical. So we'll have him out. We'll stick a tape measure on him. See what he is. And I do realise he won't last for life in that tank, but uh, that'll do him for a short walk. That, that's a better shot of him. Anyway. Anyway, let's, let's get him caught. Poor old boy. You're coming out, mate. Poor old boy. Let's Yeah, let's get him caught and get him in the new tank. So there he is. I've got him, I've got him caught out of the tank, Lock. It's about... It's a good five inch. Probably five and a quarter inches, so we'll, we better get him in the water quickly before he stresses out too much. So here he goes, look, poor old boy. I feel sorry for him, really. There he goes. Oh, look at him, look. He looks beautiful. Right, it's going it's to take some time to settle, but, uh, but hopefully I'll get some better footage. And uh, yeah, like he, but he probably hide for a, a week. I know what I have forgotten. I forgot to put this uh, package of uh, bio boost in the filter. Anyway, I think the waste. I mean, I know that was free in the filter package, but I think all this stuff you buy in a bottle—that's a waste of money. So if you if you've got a buddy, a buddy 
has got an aquarium up and running. Ask him if he can borrow some of his substrate or a little bit of filter media. That'll boost your aquarium a lot quicker. Right, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. So look, he'll be quite st stressed at the moment. But he'll get, he'll get his bearings. No doubt he'll dig some of the substrate. He'll find these caves and uh, adapt. But it can take quite a few weeks. But he ain't got a name. What can we call him? So any, any suggestions to what we can call him? I like uh, names... You know, like, not, not human names, like, if, if you're any of my followers, remember JCB, Big Mac, Botox, you know, names what are not, uh, like, uh, the, I mean, I'd never been I before, I called Benny, Benny the Bean Eye, but I'd rather have uh, a name what isn't actually uh, a person's name. Anyway, well, I'll take some, I'll take, I'll take some video shots when he uh, settles in, but, uh, Anyway, that was uh, how you enjoyed the video. Until next time, uh, happy fish keeping to you all. Just let, let, let's hope this guy settles in and gets an interactive and uh, aggressive feeder. Till next time, happy fish keeping. Ta-ra!